switch out. Time to swap my wheels. Sick. These are pretty fucked. Good enough for now. Something's rubbing. Need a spacer. But which ones? Little guys? That'll probably work. These guys? No, these are all fucked. These will have to do. Not thick enough. If I double up, it'll probably be good, but I only have two, so that doesn't work either. I have to use these fucked ones. Just use the best of the bolts. Not that one. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. These look good. Gotta use plenty of this. To avoid that again. If that doesn't do the trick, I don't know what will. Looking good. I need to raise the car or pull the fenders or something, but kind of want to get over fenders anyways. At least I need to know what I need to do on the other side. It's not touching though. Round two. Visitor, Isaac's here behind my used used underwear. <laughs> Making progress. This is pretty tight. Might have to pull the fender, or still just get over fenders would be ideal. Or raise it, which I don't want to do. Now I got to install my. Radio delete panel. Want my wide band in it. Time to turn that into that. Hopefully it works. So far, so good. Sanded it down, drilled a couple holes. They line up good. For this, I think we're good. I'm like painted or sticker bombing or something now. Rookie paint job. Guess I'll cover it in stickers after all. Looking good now. That's for Jason. That's for Rucker. That's for me. Fucked up a little bit. Oh well. The good stuff. Now I can fill in this with uh, maybe just put the vent back in, fill up that hole, or just put stuff in it. Put a speaker in there or something, portable speaker. So many options now. Wheels are on. Radio delete panel is in. Feeling pretty good. I think I remember how to roll some fenders. Good as new. This was in under my car. It's got like a green tint to it. What do I have in my car that's green? Shift 
now that everyone seems to hate except for me. I really like this delete panel though. That's cool. I like how fast my car starts up pretty much every time now. Also cool. Okay, also I use some gas. Gotta get my two strobe oil. Here's my stash. All free. Won't run out for quite a while. Shout out to Ryan Turk. So I tried showing off while leaving the gas station for Matt. And that happened. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. First time I've seen the car drive. That's impressive in a, on its own. Sideways. I don't know what Matt's doing here, but he's just being a super nerd right now. <laughs> What is it? He's just practicing math on his computer. Here goes Matt doing some math on my wheels. That's a lot of camber. What's your diagnosis? So I asked Matt how much camber I had, just joking around. And now he's getting all scientific nerdy with it. 11.1 degrees. Rough. Yeah. Sick stance. Thanks for the new wheels, Matt. Glad you didn't want your regas anymore. I didn't think I'd get rid of these blitz wheels so fast, but then Wirtz was getting rid of his rega masters, and I couldn't say no. Here we are, next day, back at my shop. Forgot to bring my intercooler pipe in, so Coons could bead roll it for me. Here we are. Right on my tool bench where I left it. Now we can leave right away. Glad to see they're not uh, working on our shop at all. Bare walls. Can't really see missing part of our wall. Office is so fucked. Thanks, landlord. Walking into Coots the shop. And I'll look at what's outside. Four door R32. That's cool. Purple. Purple's neat. So you're learning on my shit? You're just because Heather just said so. This is our Andy. You think it's a cool car until you realize it has a LS swap in it. I'm about to share all the shop secrets. Check out this one in. <laughs> That's not an Evo. That's Koontz's car. That's not a jungle gym. That's a Honda. Well, here it is. $106 later and I can legally drive my car again. Sick. trying to blame anyone here but all I'm saying is this fender lined up a lot better before I gave it to a, a certain shop for six months I don't know what happened there didn't have to figure that out I should also get some sort of hood prop or maybe some hood struts instead of uh, carrying it on my trusty 2x4 time to take this bad boy for a quick drive I'm gonna go some go enjoy some uh, Pokemon Go Community Day with Domrad. Catch me a shiny Bulbasaur. What's up? Also forgot my suction cup mount, so you're stuck in here with me today. Putting taller tires on this car made a huge difference. Feels real nice to drive now. 
New ride height. Adjusted camber. Doesn't look quite as quite as crazy now for camber. Maybe it'll drive a little better. Still need an actual alignment. That'll come. I don't know when, but it's coming. One of my favorite things about this car is just the, the stock S5 taillights. I love the dual around lights on each side. I also wish I didn't have to raise it up so much, but it's only temporary, I hope. Need some over fenders and I can probably drop it back down again. The rears are fine, I just didn't want to be all uneven. Well, super annoying and I didn't film it, but my hand, uh, or my, uh, what do you call it, eyeball alignment was super far off. So I had to adjust the left and the right side. Now my wheel's super crooked, but at least my tie rods are like, well, my tie rod ends are evenly on my tie rods and one's not gonna fall off, so fuck it, we're good. So I have to do here. I should probably straighten out some of this camber. I definitely don't need that much. Like 11 degrees or some shit. Too much. Yeah, let's take care of that. I don't think I have any more adjustment down by the knuckles, but I got plenty of adjustment up here. That's like a good inch or so I can move it out. Hopefully that's enough. So while I'm up here, I figured I should probably raise up the coils just a little bit for now. Cause if I'm moving this top, uh, top camber part out, it's definitely gonna hit the fender. So let's do it. Start off small and just go like all the way. Sure. I don't have a light on me right now, but pretty straightforward. Loosen this guy. Oh, that's already loose. Even better. Probably not good, but you know, whatever. And now I realize my hub is loose. So let's tighten that up. All right, camber adjusted, hub tightened up. Let's put the wheel back on. See if it's any better. All right, wheel's back on. Let's drop her down. That looks pretty good, actually. I raised the car up too, so that sucks, but looks pretty good. It's a lot of wheel gap. All right, same thing over here. Move the top of the coil out at the camber plate. Max that bitch out right away. Well, kinda. Without moving the Allen wrench bolts, I'm maxing it out. That's good. Check this. That one's not loose, that's a plus. So we're good over here. Cool. Also just did a little bit of a eyeball alignment. This side was a little uneven compared to the other side. So maybe that'll be better. About to find out. Unfortunately, I raised both sides up a little bit. This one might be a little too much actually. The GoPro makes it look, look way more than it actually is. But I should probably uh, raise up the back to make up for it. Just so it's even at least. That is far less camber now. Looks better, probably drives better. Let's try it out. Crazy how much better a car feels to drive when you raise it up just an inch. My car, I, didn't, I feel like my car wasn't that low before, but feels way better now. Now it's about the time I wish I had just like a big open parking lot to go play around in. Car feels so much better now. I just want to go do donuts and hit curbs and stuff. Just going for a nice little cruise next to the lake. 
Never thought I'd do that in this car. Well, there you have it. New ride height, at least temporarily. New front camber, a lot less of it. Still got some decent camera though. Not nearly as bad as the 11 degrees or so from before. Still needs an actual alignment. Still needs to be all one color. But we're good. Last thing I got to do now is re-straighten out my wheel. So my little fancy quick release button is on the top. That way you can see my cool JDM lettering right on top where it's supposed to be. And we are done. Perfect.